Over in Tampa, you're going to have to start parking properly today. We're talking about those scooters that you see in downtown. The city of Tampa is making sure to put them back where you found them. The scooters were contracted with the city through a pilot program that saw several extensions. However, just last week, dozens of scooters actually pulled out from the Hillsborough mm -hmm. River. A lot of talk about this right here. Tin Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin explains the impact parking will have right here in Tampa. Starting today, e-scooter rides in Tampa will all start and end in a designated scooter parking area. So far, it hasn't been a seamless transition. I'm starting to get annoyed. What was meant to be a fun way to tour downtown Tampa has now turned into a stressful moment with a growing bill for Mike Castro. But I can't get in contact with them to tell them to end it. Like, I keep updating my location. And it keeps saying, like, I'm not in. So I shut mine off. Now hers won't go off. The city of Tampa's mobility department director, Vic Bide, expects it to take a few weeks for riders and the scooter companies to get adjusted. If they don't return these scooters to these docks, uh, the scooter companies themselves will impose fines. Uh, we also have a bounty program in place that will reward people for doing the right thing. The city is changing how scooters can be used after a lot of complaints of scooters blocking sidewalks and ending up in places they don't belong. We're starting downtown, but we do look forward to expanding this program uh, as time goes on. For those used to weaving around scooters scattered across the sidewalks, this is a welcome change. It's a step in the right direction. Hopefully everybody follows the rules and once people start getting charged extra, That'll sink it. The longer you ride, the more you pay. And now, if you don't park your scooter in a parking area, you'll be fined in the app. What's confusing a lot of riders here today, there's a line of scooters along the sidewalk. That's where they're checking their scooters out from. Now, across the street, there's a scooter parking corral completely empty. Probably go through an email process that I'm not charging me. The city says they're keeping a close eye on the scooter companies, making sure parking is being enforced to riders. If the companies are not complying, they face fines from the city. In Tampa, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay.